8 that buy my Mitsubishi Colt CZT video. I also said in my previous video, I really like this car for what it provides in a small package, a small car, of course. And it's a relatively cheap car to maintain and to own. So these are the five things, in my personal opinion, uh, that I don't like about this car. First is the, its its height. It's a small city car, uh, which is a what you can say a, sp a small hatch. However, it's quite taller than other city cars, and given the fact that it's a sport version, uh, it's quite tall, and it uh, affects, of course, the handling of the car in terms of turning. Number two, it uh, has to do with the first thing, of course, it's, it's stock suspension, uh, which is not very firm for a sports car. There's a lot of body roll. If you have the stock suspension, now I have installed, as you can see in the picture, we provide a uh, Bilstein uh, suspension, which has lowered the car significantly, as I believe it's four millimeters. Uh, however, stock suspension is one of the things that you need to change if you want a more sporty performance from this uh, car. Now the number three thing, the third thing that I don't like about this car is the fact that it has no ESP button. It has structure control and ESP function, but due to the fact that it has a tall height and uh, the manufacturers considered it that it would be more safe to have the ESP function always on. But now let's let's give it a bit of a push and let's talk about the number four thing that I don't like about this car. Now the number four thing I don't like about this car is the fact that over here there is no oil temperature gauge. Now I've been driving this for quite some time so you always let if you're driving a turbo car you always let the turbo engine get it some heat in the oil to get some temperature before you start pushing the car however you can do that as a rule of thumb that you drive some kilometers first it would be nice if it had a oil temperature gauge i don't know why they did not put one probably for economical reasons and the number five thing that i don't like about this car it's it's Plastic quality, you can hear the door panels squeaking and that, and that those sounds have been from the beginning of you buying this car. It's not the best quality, but again, it's a Japanese car made in Holland, assembled in Holland. However, they could have done a better job. It looks like the quality of it's like from a Hyundai from the early 2000s and these are the things that I don't like generally like this car but these are the things that really kind of bother me about it so please uh, like and subscribe and put your comments below if you agree or disagree